during the month of May, we are on the, that bridge to the wet season, so we turn to get those signals signaling possibly the start of the wet season. And one of those is the first passage of a tropical wave. And in fact, we could be seeing one of those uh, by the early part of the next week. So there's a severe weather watch in place uh, from the Meteorological Service. They're basically uh, advising you there's a possibility of a flash flooding and a gusty winds as you go through Sunday in a particular, all courtesy of the passage of that trough. So what should you do? You should basically thus uh, monitor the weather conditions as well as uh, the official updates as you go through Saturday and uh, Sunday. So here we can just see here the uh, tropical wave out towards uh, the Guyanas. It is set to push a lot more moisture as you get towards uh, Sunday. So that's where we likely still see the possibility of some of those uh, showers occasionally turning heavy as you go through a uh, Sunday. You notice the yellow colors there popping up as well as the green. So that's signifying a lot of the moisture. So watch out for that by the end of the weekend. But for tonight across uh, Tobago, just a few showers are coming across the hillsides. Some of the clouds will begin to build as you go through your Saturday morning. Most of that as well being pushed in some brisk winds, especially into Mason Hall, and then eventually across into Buku. So a scattering of showers to end your day on Saturday. For Trinidad, looking for the clouds to push in from uh, Toco, Sandy Grande, and Beach, uh, along with eastern areas of Trinidad in particular, you'll see those showers are ar arriving and eventually getting towards the west as you go through your Saturday. Down towards the southern Trinidad, especially around the Guaragari and uh, through Maruga, you'll notice a thickening of the clouds as you go through through your morning into the afternoon and uh, obviously we'll see a lot more moisture by the time we get to a uh, Saturday night and then going into a Sunday morning. So temperature wise looking at a pleasant 23 degrees Celsius in Arima, 24 degrees Celsius likely in uh, Canaan and uh, through uh, Saturday we're looking at temperatures about 31 but to watch for the temperatures to drop to 29 in Tobago with the, the possibility of those uh, heavy showers as well as some uh, thundery and uh, some gusty winds expected at the end of the weekend through Monday and a Tuesday things should begin to settle but still occasionally no showers are likely for Tobago. For Trinidad on Sunday, this is where we'll likely see the bulk of the severe weather. And again, there is a severe weather watch in place. So watch out for the possibility of flash flooding by the end of Sunday. So for heading offshore, there's still some choppy seas further out in the Atlantic, maybe about two and a half. But closer to the Caribbean, it's still around two meters for the most part with those northeasterly swells of eight seconds and a moderate breeze of 50 knots through Saturday. But once you get into Sunday, we could be seeing around 20 knots or maybe even higher than that and those thunder showers. Meanwhile, of course, the Western Caribbean, they continue to be under this uh, upper level trough. It's uh, funneling a lot of moisture through uh, Cuba into Jamaica. In fact, Jamaica right now is under a flash flood warning, especially for Western areas of Jamaica and then up towards the Bahamas and into Florida. You'll continue to see a lot more of uh, that wet weather as they go through Saturday and maybe begin to fade by the end of Monday. So for uh, Kingston then, windy and rainy at 30 degrees Celsius. For Havana, they'll continue to see some showers at 29. But on the other side of that trough, you notice a lot more fair weather, especially for Hispaniola. Now, for the Eastern Caribbean, at this time of the year, we tend to see those pockets of moisture coming in. We could be seeing that as well, exasperated by that uh, passing tropical wave by the end of the weekend. So for Trinidad and Tobago, as well as uh, for the Guyanas, could be seeing some wet weather as they get towards uh, Sunday. But the rest of uh, the Eastern Caribbean mostly settled. And obviously, as we get uh, closer, to the month of uh, June, the number of uh, rainy days will likely increase with the start of our wet season when we get that first tropical wave or the first ITCZ visit. So that's your weather and that's it from Nick.